story involving Professor Sir Brian Thwaites, who offered one million pounds as sort of bursaries or something to two very prestigious schools, Dulwich College, Winchester College, because he'd scared scholarships there. Both those schools declined to take the funds because they feared it would be discriminatory. Amanda Spielman, on that aspect first. OK, well, first of all, it's awful to think of children who aren't getting help that they could have had, that somebody wanted to give them, they're not getting. I've actually got a lot of sympathy for the schools here. They've had an immense amount of criticism for not taking the money. But you can also imagine a lot of people would have lined up to criticise them if they had taken it for not caring about black and ethnic minority children. Why does it mean if you take the money you don't care? Why, why, why do those... Surely they're exclusive. You, well, you can take the money you, and you, still care for no, black be, children. No, because if you're seen to take money for white boys, then that means you don't care about black children. But there's no problems at Cambridge University. University with Storms' scholarships. Then we're not suggesting but, Cambridge doesn't care for white no, children. But, but, but the, we've got a, a bit of asymmetry may have crept into a lot of people's world world, world view. That is, a, that is a real problem. Um, and the reality is there's a whole spectrum of disadvantage. There is no tag, race, whether it's race or sex or poverty, any other tag that neat, neatly characterises who's disadvantaged, who, who needs help. Um, we've got. We need to get away from that kind of thinking and just recognise that sometimes categories, divisions, can do more harm than good when we start getting too too, too locked into them and start treating it almost as though it's battle lines. Were you at Winchester or Dulwich Colleges, you would not have taken the money? I cannot... Um, I don't know the full circumstances of the donation. Respectfully, what else do you need to know? Um, what is, I, Nick, it's a million pounds it, to offer Nick, scholarships to boys from uh, financially poor backgrounds, white boys from financially poor backgrounds. What more do you need to know, man? I hope my... Defer- <coughs> You're right. Do you uh, need yeah. some water? Okay. Um, no. Yeah. Um, so, but just put yourself in the shoes of, of the, the school, school 30 years I'll take years the money. Ago. As a school, uh, I'm on. never going to say no to cash. Well, unless it's illegal me, or drug um, cash. And then you'd, well, precisely, then you'd find no, yourself... No, it's, it's uh, legal Nick, cash. Nick, you'd fi- you could find yourself 30 years down the road with the Jimmy Savile scholarships. What? You'd be, you'd, you'd be trying to unwind and disconnect yourself. You've got... You've got to... Sir Brian Swates is not Jimmy Savile, a student no, inspector. He, no, he's absolutely not. But one of the point I'm making is schools have to look more widely to make sure that, that, that the whole package makes sense and is something but they can... What I don't get is Cambridge University can take Storms' money and the Storms' yeah, money and, and good luck to the man. I think it's brilliant. He wants to help uh, 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 poorer yeah. black kids. Fantastic. Why can't we do the same for white but, but, kids but, but, at but secondary level? But that's what's so horrible that we feel we can't. We've got but, to get away from this culture where we feel we, we can't be seen. But would you have taken the cash? Like, I don't know, Nick. I genuinely don't know. What, what do you need to know? I just I, I want to he- I want to have heard the conversation in the, in that governing body about about, about the pros and cons. All right.